Good morning, Schlock fans. It is Tuesday, which is like my Monday, which means it is time to get back after it at the shop. Uh, I went for an awesome bicycle ride with the dog, and uh, we had a blast. I didn't get any video out there, sorry. It was cold, man. Um, but man, the days are definitely getting longer, and that is just making me stoked. Daylight Savings is coming so very soon. And what that means, the reason I've been posting the countdown on Facebook, uh, if you guys have been following us on Facebook, um, days till Daylight Savings, is that as soon as Daylight Savings hits, we start our Thursday night rides. We ride every Thursday night, all summer long. Um, we close the shop a half hour early. We all meet at the shop or wherever we're riding. We go for a big ride. I try to make a bunch of different loops. Uh, for all skill levels. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes it turns into a gnar ride. Sometimes it's just an easy ride. Sometimes it's a kid's ride, but we ride every Thursday. So if you're interested in things like that, make sure you follow us on Facebook because <clears throat> that's where the posts are. Oh, <sighs> make sure you follow us on Facebook because that's where I put the details for every Thursday night ride. Uh, first one is coming, not this this Thursday, but next Thursday, we're gonna be at Peach Valley. So, anyway, I'm making a burrito, so I gotta do that, make a cup of coffee. Let's get on with the daily schlag. All right, it's, uh, Super Tuesday, everybody, which means we're voting in the primaries here in Colorado this year. And I'm going to vote. Drop my ballot in the mail, it's easy. Boom, whoop. Boom, just like that. You guys gotta vote, otherwise you don't get to complain. That's all there is to it. I learned when I was a young man from my parents that if you don't vote, you got no voice and you really don't get the right to complain about how things are going. So there we go. <clears throat> Done deal. That was easy. Very happy that I get to be a part of what makes this country great. All right. We're at the shop getting ready to rock and roll. Zach is back in the back doing his thing. I just checked in a mountain of parts because it is springtime and that's the way it goes here. Uh, just want to welcome all of you who maybe haven't joined us for a daily schlag. If this is your first time joining us for one of these daily uh, videos here of the shop, uh, let me just give you a quick rundown. We upload every day that we are open. So we are open Tuesday through Saturday. The schlags actually hit the day after. So we actually upload Wednesday through Sunday. Um, usually we upload every other day of the week also with uh, either some tech video or ride video or something like that. If this is something that is interesting to you, if you enjoy these things that we're doing, please go ahead and hit, just, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really makes a big difference for the channel. Uh, we're trying to grow this channel so we can spread the gospel of two wheels uh, around the world. My personal belief is that everybody is better off if they have a motorcycle and they ride it. So. Um, They've saved my life. They've saved numerous other people's lives. So I just want to share that love with the world. I want everybody on the planet to ride a dirt bike if at all possible. So that's what we're doing. If it's interesting to you at all to support that in a financial way, I'll put a link to our Patreon page down below. It's just a monthly subscription basically that helps this channel uh, do what we do, buy better cameras, uh, get out, travel, take videos of places we go. Um, yeah, all the things that we can do. I'd love to be able to give away motorcycles and things like that and train kids and all that stuff. That just all costs money. So that's what we're trying to do. Uh, total transparency. I'm definitely trying to make some money here. Um, but it's in hopes that I can spread this gospel of two wheels to an even bigger, broader audience. So anyway, we're rocking and rolling. I got a ton of work to do. Um, yeah, let's get after it. The Trail 70, unfortunately, if you guys have been watching this whole saga, the carburetor's too bad. I'm gonna have to get a new carburetor for it. Um, unfortunately, it's just too far gone. So that's a bummer, but it is what it is. They're not very expensive, I don't think. So we can get that taken care of. Um, check this out. Just got this in for a customer. 
the new Liat GPX 5.5 um, helmet. Really cool helmet. A lot of safety stuff built into this. Super lightweight, breathes really well. Um, yeah, customer's been uh, riding with some buddies that have them. So he's excited to try one out. I think they're great. Um, I'm sticking with my fly formula. I think it's, personally I think it's a little safer, but these are great helmets. Um, so uh, also they're a little less money, so that's cool. But also still, I think very, very safe. Really happy about that. And I wanted to show you one other thing. Super stoked, so it's kind of like mail time, uh, except for it was a customer here in town who just brought it by. So it didn't come in the mail, that's why I didn't like open it up in front of you guys. But look at this, I am so stinking stoked. Uh, he uh, follows us on the YouTubes and the Facebooks and all that good stuff and he just uh, thought of us when uh, he saw this. So he brought me that and I'm so excited, man. I'm gonna hang this up in my uh, work zone. Um, yeah, I'm really stoked. First thing I'm gonna work on today is a little KTM 50 and get it running so this guy can sell it. Uh, which generally is the best day of a 50 owner's life, 50 dad's life, is when it goes down the road. Because comment below if you're one of those people who have owned a KTM 50 and were so excited to get rid of it when your kid got onto a 65. Those things are a nightmare. I mean, they're the only game in town, them or a Cobra. They're all a maintenance nightmare, and they all take a ton of work to keep running and adjusted and tuned. Um, so yeah, this guy is just like to get this thing down the road. All right, so we got the KTM 50 Junior SX up here. Uh, like I said, KTM 50s, they're a bit of a nightmare. Um, they just take a ton of maintenance. But this one, we're just gonna be cleaning this little carburetor, getting it running, at least I hope that's all it needs. The owner hopes that's all it needs. Uh, should be, it's been sitting around for quite a while. His kids have been too big for it for quite a while. Uh, but yeah. Gotta finish making my coffee here and then we'll be at it. This one should go pretty fast. I'll show you guys everything we're gonna do to it. It's a funny little carburetor. It's made by an Italian company called Del Ordo. Um, and honestly, it's just a pain because no one carries Del Ordo jets. Uh, dealers don't even carry Del Ordo jets generally. Let's get this thing apart. There we go. Pretty grimy. The uh, air boot wasn't completely on it, so hopefully the motor's okay. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna find out, but uh, yeah, definitely gonna get this thing in the ultrasonic and get it all shiny, because it's pretty gnarly right now. Uh, quarter hour. There we go. Pretty dirty. So we're gonna let that do its thing. Let's see, we'll go ahead and put a new spark plug in this thing because that's never a bad idea. Uh, take a look at the old one, make sure it's not like looking like something bad's going on. And then, uh, yeah, we'll check back in when that thing's done cooking. All right, so real quick, I was um, gonna replace the spark plug and just out of habit, I figured I'd make sure it was sparking. There we go, that is Definitely touching the head. And it's not doing anything. Now these things are known for burning up stators. Uh, so I thought, well, that's probably where we're gonna head. I can't remember, he might actually have a newer stator in this. Can't remember all the history on this bike. But as I was looking at things, so this is the ground for the kill switch this is what attaches the kill switch to the ground so that when you hit this button it grounds the ignition and it doesn't spark so you unplug that and then i was checking out the other part coming out of the so there's the stator just one wire coming out and i grab this and it and i 
and look at that. It's broken off. So we might get lucky and this thing might be okay. There's the broken piece. Um, so like I said, might get lucky. I'm gonna try by pushing down on this and see if it'll spark. Yes, we figured it out. So honestly, the carburetor might not have been the problem, although it's dirty and gnarly. So we're gonna fix that um, and clean it up. But yes, I'm so stoked. Found something simple. By just doing a little bit of investigative work, we figured it out without costing this guy a whole bunch of money. I'm really excited about that. Uh, so now I just got to put a new end on that wire and we're good to go. <laughs> yes. First of all, let's look at what Zach's doing. <laughs> Yay! So Zach's changing tires on this WR, but bigger than that, we're making this thing street legal. Uh, so we've got a brake light switch for it. We're getting a horn for it. I thought that was going to be here, but it's not. Um, but we got a big tank for it. Where'd that go? Got a big IMS tank for it. <clears throat> got the Parker DT uh, tires that are knobby, but DOT. Um, yeah, so we're going through. Going to make this thing street legal. Pretty excited. The guy who owns it is actually an ultra marathoner. And he and a buddy are putting together a 350-mile running thing. Uh, and they want to dirt bike it before they go out there on foot. So, um, yeah, so we're going to dial this thing in. Pretty excited about that. Um, we'll check in as Zach goes and see how he does. He's, uh, he's got two tires changed. He's doing great. So, um, while that's going on and the carburetor's going, I am going to service this shock. So, uh, I've got a video on servicing KTM shocks, but I'm going to go ahead and go through this thing in depth with you guys. Uh, Schlag fans. It's just going to be highlights, but I am videoing the whole thing because this is the new style uh, shock off of a 2018 uh, 350 XCF. So it's got the new style uh, bladder and all that, or excuse me, new style reservoir and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll go over how we do that. Uh, like I said, here for the daily schlag, you're just going to get the highlights. Um, but, yeah, let's start by taking the thing apart. I always... Spray a little bit of lube on the threads. Phone's ringing. Highland Cycles is Morgan. I'm doing well, Mr. Barnado, except for that I don't have your cylinder yet. <laughs> I I know, it's so sad. The uh, uh yeah, no, I'm just waiting on the dudes at uh, Millennium, so I've had it take like Two weeks, about the shortest, and I've had it take a little over a month when it was real, real, real busy. And I'm hoping we're not at that real, real, real busy mark. <laughs> yeah, we'll do, man. We'll talk to you soon, man. You bet. Bye. So that was Mr. Barnado, who were rebuilding his YZ250. We sent his cylinder out. Uh, it's been two and a half, three weeks uh, to Millennium, and we still don't have it back yet. That's kind of how it goes. They get really busy. And it can sometimes take a while, so that's a bummer. But uh, he's just checking in, giving me a hard time because I put my YZ back together and his was back in the corner. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Uh, what was I doing? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, shock. So one of the things I'm doing on this shock is I'm going to be replacing this bolt with one that has a uh, um, that has a, a rubber gasket in it so I can use – a needle to fill it up with nitrogen because as it is uh, you have to have a really super special tool that honestly just doesn't work that well. <laughs> I've used one before and it was just a giant pain in the butt. So um, for like five bucks in a little bolt, it's pretty sweet. It comes with a new bolt, gasket, and everything. And then like I said, it has a hole in it and a little rubber gasket and so you can use a nitrogen needle to fill it. So that is going to be awesome. And a really nice upgrade so that you don't have to use super duper fancy expensive tools. I want to take a good look at this bushing that's in here. Um, this one looks great. Um, but replace it if you need be. I stock them. Um, it's one of those things not a lot of people stock. But we keep them here because they wear out and they're inexpensive to have. So new seal. 
boom, just drops in like that. Super simple. Valving. Since we have it on our screwdriver, we just lower it back into place. Well, uh, you know, if you if you go too fast, too far, it'll suck air in. So you don't want that, obviously. So I just, if you guys can see this down here, my hand on here, and just do it nice and easy. All right. Yeah. Right, guys. It has been a crazy day. Uh, tons of customers. It's definitely springtime in the Rockies and I didn't get to film or do much. I got the shock done, so that was cool. Um, but uh, carburetor just out of the ultrasonic. I'm finishing cleaning it up right now. Um, but it's the end of the day, so I got to pack things up. I'm going to get this thing going tomorrow. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Get the little notification bell. Make sure you click that thing because it'll let you know every time we do a new video, which is basically every day. So... Tomorrow, we'll get that thing running. Um, I think actually, like I showed you before, it's probably the uh, electrical thing that I already fixed more than the carburetor, but the carburetor was disgusting. Now it looks a lot better, so that's gonna be good. And yeah, tons of work rolling in. Let me just show you guys what's kind of coming down the line. We got this sweet 2019 uh, TE300i. We are doing full suspension service front and rear full chassis service all the way around greasing every bearing We've got all new plastics we got graphics we got tires we got chains and sprockets we got maybe a weird motor noise <laughs> i don't know what that's all about but we'll see um i'm hoping he's hearing things mainly for him because um he wants to get this thing done he's got racing coming up soon it doesn't have that many hours on it so it really shouldn't be too big a deal but um yeah, so there's that coming down. We got carburetor uh, jetting to do on this thing. Travis Pastrana's bike, obviously, number 199. Um, got to figure out a no spark on the 400. Zach's going to finish this thing up tomorrow. He's going to be stoked. <laughs> and then what do we got? We got to blow out this pipe. Mr. Hauk did that. Uh, two rides into a new pipe. So hopefully... We're going to be able to fix that with the Hydroforce. I got a new clutch coming for my YZ250. I got the Carbon Up clutch cover. Should be here tomorrow for this thing. So that's going to be really cool. I'm super excited about checking that thing out. Um, that's going to be awesome. Uh, we got to take apart this YZ450F and probably put a top end in it. Maybe valves also. Got to soften up suspension on the YZ250 uh fx 2020 we just lowered it but we got to do a little clicking on the suspension dial it in full service and jetting on this uh little crf street legal the wr250 and put a tire and tube on the little klx 140 so we got a ton of work guys um thank you god for bringing me work i love it um and thank you guys for tuning in it really does mean the world to me that you guys watch all this stuff. And uh, yeah, seems like you guys are liking it. We're this close to 2,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away a hat and hoodie combo for that. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'm working on that. Um, yeah, so just stay tuned because it's going to be something awesome. And yeah, things are good, guys. Things are good in Western Colorado. The sun has come out. We're ready to rock and roll. So make sure you definitely subscribe to the channel and make sure mostly that you get out spread the gospel of two wheels and please 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 find some time to ride your dirt bikes <laughs>